everyone, I'm in South Korea in the city of Daegu. Hi, hello. Uh, for those of you who don't know me yet, I'm um, Dr. Denise, people call me. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a doctor, a general practitioner, and I also have um, a few autoimmune diseases and also the founder and chairman of Autoimmune Indonesia. I wanted to make this video because um, I thought I could share my experiences traveling abroad after being diagnosed with a couple of autoimmune diseases. Um, so I really hope that those of you who need this video can benefit from it. Uh, that's why I'm speaking in English so that um, anybody from any country hopefully uh, can benefit from this video. So I've been um, traveling quite a lot after I've been diagnosed, uh, mostly because I was searching for medical treatment, more options you can say. already but mostly Singapore Airlines and Emirates uh, I've been to uh, Australia a uh, couple of uh, countries in Europe couple countries in Asia, uh, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand. Going to Japan was both exciting and scary because it was just me and my mom in a country where we couldn't speak the language and um, didn't know the writing. But with proper preparation, everything worked out well. Some have told me about their fear of traveling and that is also one of the reasons why I made this video. So I, I really do hope that uh, you can enjoy this video and benefit from it as well. So I know uh, people have different preferences like if they want to travel what they're going to do and stuff like that and um, I'm not really a shopping type I'm um, I, I, I like to look for you know like things that are only in that country um, to see their culture to see uh, you know like palaces museum or stuff like that you know sometimes watch a concert <laughs> like in Vienna I watched uh, Chambers Orchestra it was wow the acoustic wow so anyways uh, what you have to do is really prepare beforehand you really need to google everything like you really need to find the hotel that really suits you or you know whatever accommodation you prefer that suits you is maybe like close to 
um, you know, the, the subway or metro, but uh, for me, it's already too difficult to use the subway. I used to use use it a lot, but now it's just because, you know, you have to walk uh, long distances usually, and then there are sometimes there's no um, escalator or hard to find the elevator or stuff like that. So you have to, you know, go on high stairs and, you know, all that stuff. So I, I usually find places that are close to taxi stands, you know, usually like super malls or bus station, train station like that. So walking distance from your hotel to places that you can easily find a taxi because, uh, well, you know, uh, not all hotels have taxis waiting. close to maybe the train station if you're you're planning on going to other cities or bus station you know whatever you prefer uh, for me I, I prefer if I'm bringing my luggage to go on bus if I want to go to another city <clears throat> because um, I've had experience already going by train bringing luggage and because I, I usually have you know like two suitcases at minimum it's difficult if I'm not uh, going with um, a male a male friend or a male family, you know, uh, to bring that luggage on the train, and you have to be fast as well. And it's nice to see the view going on a bus too. I mean, you get good views on bus as well, like on train, so it's okay. Um, if I just want to go to other cities, and I've already uh, checked in the hotel, and I'm not bringing a lot of stuff then I use the train because it's faster And also usually um, countries they have uh, these cards for tourists it just helps you for the transportation to get discounts easier and you just need to tap everything so me and my mom like to go on the hop off on bus because um, it's really nice to get uh, all the attractions on the bus you get to see everything in the whole city and you get and what we do is just go around one time really not go down the bus just really go around and see everything first and then the next round we go down somewhere like we pick okay we're going to go down here and then um yeah so uh it's it's a good way um and cheaper way to actually get to really see all the attractions in the city so that's why we like it and yeah it's 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 comfortable on a bus so it's it's good for uh people like um like me who have these health conditions as well Not all taxi drivers can speak English, but there are voice translate applications that you can install on your handphone. And also you can bring the hotel's name card that has the hotel's address written in their language. Uh, if you want to go to uh, this kind of tourist attraction and stuff like that, the opening hours, and also what days they're um, not open and you, you need to make a schedule so that you're not tired at that day just thinking where am I going, where am I going you actually get a lot already because you've planned ahead it's better to just make that list and plan ahead and you get the estimate price, the cost that you're going to pay for everything it's better
So going on the airplane, um, make sure you really wear something comfortable, please. Uh, you also, it's it's nice to have a comfortable jacket that you can also use as um, like a pillow if if you need that more as a pillow. Uh, well, some airlines already give you the pillow, but you know for you know more additional pillow, and also just wear something like like pajama like. <laughs> pajama like but uh, not pajama but I mean just really make it comfortable be sure to be comfortable and for me I use a, a shoe that is also comfortable because usually uh, uh, my feet get swollen <laughs> um, and um, I usually use a wheelchair so when um, every time during check-in we ask for a wheelchair uh, because airports are really large and usually you know uh, we transit to you know the airline's country and uh, you have to like sometimes be really fast to right so it would it's, it's really difficult for me um, to walk really fast you know uh, especially if sometimes they change um, the gate like uh, when coming here to Seoul uh, to Korea uh, they changed the terminal, so it, it would be difficult if um, I didn't use a wheelchair. About food, um, you can uh, some airlines you can order food, so I ordered like gluten free food and um, sometimes uh, Muslim food. Um, but the thing is, if you order uh, gluten free food, it, it may not necessarily be the Muslim friendly if you, you're, you're ordering Muslim friendly it might not necessarily be gluten free so you really need to think about that as well uh, another option is if like yesterday I transit in Singapore I could also like buy food um, in the airport and bring it on the airline uh, make sure you bring all the medication you need if you need to take it on the airplane right One time at an airport, the staff had to carry me down the stairs because the bus was waiting down the stairs and I couldn't walk fast. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but some airports, they have these car lifts for um, people with wheelchair. So, yeah. Some airports have airport hotels. Um, some are inside the transit area and some there are, they have capsule hotels as well. But some are outside the uh, the transit area, so like the pub the public area, uh, like here when coming to South Korea, we we go we wanted to go to Daegu because there's something we wanted to attend to in Daegu. So when we arrived here in um, Incheon Airport, we stayed at the capsule hotel, which is in the public area, for four hours. So you can pay like first three hours and then add an hour an hour. Uh, so we stayed for four hours before going on the bus from Incheon Airport to Daegu because it's another four hours on the bus. So we wanted to rest first because, you know, 
we left Jakarta and went to Singapore for transit and then another like five and a half hours on the plane so we were tired already so uh, we decided to stay at the capsule hotel for four hours before going on the bus to Daegu. When we go to Europe, we usually use Emirates and uh, the, we, we usually stay at the airport hotel in the transit area um, because um, so we can like sleep first for a while. So we usually ask for a long transit time and then um, we stay at the hotel first before, you know, another additional seven or eight hours on the plane because <laughs> um, my neurologist told me that I cannot be on the plane more than eight hours. So uh, I can't take a flight that is like 10 hours. Okay, talking about packing. I've had lost luggage before and I know people who have had lost luggage before as well so yes it can happen find a bag like this because um, it can help you a lot because you won't accidentally leave it somewhere and because you're going to have to like take your passport often you know it would be difficult if you want to take it out of your bag so this is like really simple and easy to get your passport out and uh, you can put like money as well in it and it's always on your hand so it's, it'll be easier because sometimes you just like you have to be fast and everything like that so um, yeah. Okay, bring your foldable bag, you know, because uh, so if you need like a bigger bag somehow because you had to buy something or you know you just need it, you uh, you get the foldable bag and then you could um, yeah. So you could then put this this one that's already folded again. Okay, so you don't want to end up with too many coins from the country that you traveled to when you come back to your own country. So bring like this small wallet um, pouch that you can put the coin in because you're not familiar with those coins, right? So you you may be like confused with your own country's coins. So be sure to have its own uh, pouch or a small wallet for it. It's good to have this kind of wallet because you need to bring your passport because sometimes they ask for your passport and you can put cards in it as well and it has a handle uh, around your wrist.
gluten intolerant so I need to bring my own food just in case and it needs to be practical and I bring uh, my own cooking appliances simple ones so I can buy like raw fish in the supermarket and um, bring fish floss I have used a walker once or twice abroad but I usually bring my uh, walking stick instead because I can still walk but not far um, but sometimes I do need a wheelchair and some hotels can lend you their wheelchair but if you go to like hospitals or shopping malls you can also like um, borrow their wheelchair <laughs> 